When I wrote about Jim Dooley in Lisey's story, I was thinking very much of the man who shot John Lennon because this guy was a fan. He was a huge fan of Lennon's, and before shooting him to death, he got Lennon to sign an album. And I thought to myself, yeah, I can see that happening. Dooley really looks at Scott's novels as like scripture. You know, he lives by them, he breathes them, they're everything to him. There was a lot of conversations between Pablo and Steven and uh, ultimately myself about what to do with this character and adding scenes to make him something more relatable and more real. Dane is a very gifted actor that can make a very simple sort of regular scene into something very complicated just by his presence. It's easy to play a stone rock villain that is just a mean person. I think what Dane did so beautiful is that he was also able to create a fragile man in this context of the villain, and that fragility makes him vulnerable. And that vulnerability, it's fascinating because it's hard. Prof, this is amazing and it's only the tip of the iceberg. There's plenty more just waiting for us. What did you do? Look, whatever it is, I need you to stop. Listen, listen, listen. There's a story in here about a father and his two sons. I'm pretty sure it's the prequel to the coaster's daughter he talked about one time on NPR. It's fantastic. Wait, wait. When people read this, they... where did you get it? She gave it to me. Easy as pie. Told you I was good at persuading people.